coronavirus infection in the UK brings the number of global cases up to 12. So this potentially fatal SARS-like virus was first identified in September of last year. And experts now say they would not be surprised if it came to the U.S. Senior medical correspondent Elizabeth Cohen joins us now. So Elizabeth, explain this to us. How dangerous is this? You know, this virus is particularly vicious, John. You talked about 12 cases. Well, five out of those 12 have died. That's a relatively high mortality rate. People are getting things like pneumonia and kidney disease. But, and here's an image that we got actually right from the authorities in the United Kingdom. So that's the bad news about the virus. The good news about the virus is it's actually hard to get. It's thought that people are getting it from animals, but then once it gets to people, it's not spreading from what we can tell person to person to person to person. You're not seeing long chains of transmission like you do, for example, every year with the flu. It is possible that there has been some person to person to transmission, but it's been very limited. And so far, they think that they've only seen it among people who are living in the same household. So for example, you're not, they're not seeing people getting it by, by say, sitting next to a sick person on an airplane. So that's good news. Bad virus, but also really hard to get. Uh, Elizabeth, we did call it a SARS-like virus here, and that, that doesn't sound good. So talk us down here. How scared should people be about this? You know, the experts I talked to said people should not freak out. Those actually were their exact words. They said, again, we're not seeing, say, someone get on a bus and then the rest of the bus gets sick. That's not what's happening. What we have seen so far is that this appears to have started in the Middle East, and now we're seeing these few cases in the United Kingdom. But again, you're not seeing long chains of person-to-person -person transmission. Now, these same experts said, you know what? Wouldn't be surprised if it came to the United States, given the high volume of global travel, but it is possible. Stop global there. health right, officials have questions and concerns as well about a newly discovered virus called the novel coronavirus. Cases have been reported across parts of the Middle East, especially Saudi Arabia, in Britain and France, where a person who shared a hospital room with an infected patient has now tested positive as well. That's worrying. Senior medical correspondent is joining uh, me now. So if a person sharing a hospital room with someone who's infected develops the, the disease, does that suggest that it's from going from person to person, yes? Well, Hala, we already knew that it was going from person to person because there was suspicion that family members were getting it from each other. So while hospital mates are not family members, they are living in the same room. So again, they suspect that they have seen this uh, virus go from person to person among close family members and now also in the, in the hospital setting. So while that's certainly worrisome, I would also say we're not seeing it among people who say, sit on a bus next to each other for 15 minutes or pass each other in an airport or are shopping uh, near each other. You know, that, I think that's an important distinction to make. And when you see these numbers, I think you'll see what I mean. So this virus was first identified in September of 2012, and there have been 34 infections since then. 34 known infections, I should say. If this were spreading like wildfire, we would have seen a whole lot more since it's been around since September. However, here's the number that I think doctors are finding especially troublesome. 18 deaths. That is more than a 50% death rate. That is very high. So when people do get infected, it appears that they get very, very sick and have a relatively high chance of dying. A 50% mortality rate, Hala, is very high. And most of the people who we've seen get sick with this virus, they tend to be elderly men who already have some sort of, often they have some sort of underlying health condition. Hala? So should people be worried? I mean, because you're saying that if it was spreading like wildfire, we'd see many more people infected. But should just ordinary people, you, me, others watching us right now, traveling to those parts of the world, have any level of concern? You know, I think if I were in one of these countries where we've seen this virus and I was in a hospital room next to someone who had pneumonia, I would ask the question, could this person have the novel coronavirus? I mean, I would ask that question. I don't, and you'll see why it's called a coronavirus there. It's got that kind of crown around the edge of it. But I, you know, the doctors I've talked to have said, look, you know, the average person does not need to be worried about this on a day-to-day -day basis. If my husband went to one of these countries where the virus is present and came home and he got, he got an infectious disease and then I got some kind of an infection, I would also be worried. But, you know, except for those circumstances, doctors are telling us this isn't something that sort of your sort of average person needs to be terribly worried about. His father died Hussein after a chest infection that quickly worsened into kidney failure.
Soon after, other family members fell ill too. Doctors now believe it was the new deadly coronavirus. Well, the first time they told me I have corona, the first things I thought about is I'm going to die because I thought about my dad and I said it's going to be the same case and I'm going to lose my life. This is NCOV and the World Health Organization is monitoring it closely, especially now that human to human transmission has been verified between patients and from a patient to healthcare workers. Doctors from the WHO are in Saudi Arabia to monitor the spread of the virus. Of most concern, however, is the fact that the different clusters seen in multiple countries increasingly support the hypothesis that when there is close contact, this novel coronavirus can transmit. Now, according to the person Centers for Disease person. Control, this is where the virus was first detected in April 2012, Saudi Arabia. Then it spread to other countries in the Middle East, including Qatar and Jordan. Now, by February of this year, travelers to the Middle East had brought the virus to Europe. France, Germany, and the UK all reported mostly isolated cases. Now, there have been at least 40 confirmed cases, and 20 of those patients have died. The largest cluster is in Saudi Arabia. Doctors say anyone with sustained daily close contact with an infected person is at risk of contracting the virus. There is no evidence yet that it can be passed on through casual contact, but health authorities are keeping a close watch for any indication that it could spread more quickly.